2017 Royal Rumble sucked. And here's why. Now just as a little disclaimer for you guys, not all of this pay-per-view was shit, not all of it was bad. There was actually a, a few points or a few parts of the show that I thought were absolutely crazy and amazing and awesome, you know? I'm not saying the whole entire pay-per-view was terrible. The overall product was pretty freaking terrible, pretty horrific if you ask me. And I'm gonna give you 10 reasons why, I guess. I don't know, I've never tried, I've never made these kind of videos, but I just feel so inspired. Here we go. Again, not all of the Royal Rumble was bad and at the end of this video I will highlight some of the points that I thought were actually good and that I actually really liked a lot. Where the hell was Seth Rollins? This is this isn't funny WWE. Why would you do this to us? He's banned. I get it is probably mo well, obviously it's part of the storyline but <laughs> you're gonna have a Royal Rumble without Seth Rollins again. This was your opportunity to really, really throw the fire onto the whole Triple H versus Seth Rollins feud leading up to WrestleMania. And you did what? Nothing. Because Seth Rollins wasn't there. Triple H wasn't there. You better have something seriously amazing planned for Raw tomorrow. There was no surprise entries. I mean, we had the Kings. I get it. You can't always have like a big pop, oh, amazing debut or whatever. I mean, you did have somebody from NXT. That meant absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> and looking at it from the other side, I do understand that we already had like a lot of big names like Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, The Undertaker, like these kind of people already in the Royal Rumble. So maybe they thought that was good enough, but I personally love the surprise factor of the Royal Rumble that has always been one of the best parts about it is because you never know who could come out and they did not take advantage of that this time which really sucks. The ending to the Universal Championship match. Really? Braun Strowman? Really? That's how you're gonna end uh, a championship match at Re uh, Royal Rumble? I keep trying to say Wrestlemania. At the Royal Rumble you're gonna have Braun Strowman who really doesn't even isn't really a part of this at all like whatever you're gonna have him come and interfere and that's how he's gonna retain. Like you have Chris Jericho up in the air in the shark cage which I mean, I personally thought it would have been cool to have him, like, get the cage open and then jump on Roman. I know that's absolutely ridiculous and dangerous, but something like that could have happened. It could have been cool and amazing, or if they're going to have that interfere, whatever. Or, or, I don't know, here's, here's something crazy, WWE. Why don't you just let Kevin Owens win clean? You're making him look like a very, like, a weak hill. And it's really stupid. I mean, he's a champion. Obviously, he's not weak. And obviously, he can win a match by himself in a clean manner. Why are you so against that? I don't... Besides the ending to this match, though, it was a really, really good match. I really did enjoy it. I loved the brass knuckles. I thought that was that was awesome. And uh, Kevin Owens doing uh, Roman Reigns' Superman punch and then along with the stunner. Randy Orton winning the Royal Rumble. Okay, I don't understand where you're going with this. Obviously, obviously it's going to now be Randy Orton versus John Cena because they're both on the SmackDown brand. And which other direction is it going to be? He's the champion. Like, it's going to be Randy Orton versus John Cena at WrestleMania. Unless somebody, or John Cena drops the belt to somebody before WrestleMania, which I don't see happening because it's John Cena. It's going to be Randy Orton versus John Cena. Like, why are we going back in time here? We've seen Randy Orton versus John Cena. All that we could, like, see them. We don't want this anymore. We don't want that feud. We don't want to dive back into that, okay? It was good. It was a great feud. Whatever. We don't want it again. And honestly, it's like there's so many other people who deserve to main event WrestleMania or even just be a part of WrestleMania that aren't going to get to be a part of WrestleMania. And it's the same guys again. John Cena and Randy Orton. Like, oh my god. I don't know where you're going with this. I mean, is Randy Orton going to win at WrestleMania? I don't know. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You were going in the right direction for so long and now you're just like, oh, no. Beeline, just be like, what? Mm. This next reason, honestly, I really don't know how I'm feeling about it, so I'm just gonna mention it, okay? And you guys do what you want with it. Brock Lesnar <laughs> made out to be a little girl for the second time by Goldberg. I mean, literally, you guys, like, I get it the first time, it was shock value. It was like, yes, nobody's seen it coming, but the second time? I mean, are you trying to absolutely destroy Brock Lesnar's reputation? I'm not, I have no issue with that, because I'm really not a big Brock Lesnar fan, so I really don't care about that. I'm just like, it's... It was so stupid, I guess. In my opinion, nobody wants to see this big, bad, monster UFC fighter get his ass kicked by an old guy. We had a spot completely wasted on James Ellsworth. Okay, you're gonna give James Ellsworth a spot in the Royal Rumble, but not Seth Rollins. But not even Kevin Owens. Yes, he retained his championship. Why, why should he be in the match? Why the fuck was Roman in the match? Why was he the last fucking guy? Are you serious? Like, where's Finn Balor? 
Hashtag where are you at Finn Balor? We need you, okay? We need the Demon King. And, and, and Enzo, or you know what, even all three of the New Day, why is it that all three of them got the spots? Like, there was so, like, why don't you give the spots to the other people? Make it even better. I felt like this Royal Rumble match wasn't even that good overall. Like, it was, it, it just happened so fast. Like, people were just all in the ring so fast, and then before you knew it, it's like, oh, we're up to, like, number 27, who was, the lucky spot was wasted on Enzo, who was thrown out in, like, two seconds. Roman eliminating the Undertaker and the Undertaker giving him a look like bitch you're 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 gonna die okay Undertaker is on his last leg here you guys he's old he needs to retire because I don't I do not like to watch him get hurt and him fainting and this stuff as much as I love him and never want him never want to see him go or retire he needs to because he needs to think about his health and all that shit and yes he probably has a few more amazing matches in him I don't want to see them wasted on Roman Reigns. I don't want to see a Roman Reigns versus Undertaker feud. You guys, I don't want to see this. Oh, did I mention that um there was no Seth Rollins? Yeah? Oh, well, I'm still pissed about it, so. Overall, the Royal Rumble match itself was terrible. I think it had, you know, a few amazing parts, like uh, Luke Harper turning on Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. I thought that was like, whoa, he still needs Rogaine for that bald spot, but still, it was pretty exciting. The other matches that took place, like Cesaro and Sheamus versus um, Gallows and Anderson, I I thought that was an amazing match. I'm really happy that Gallows and Anderson are now the new champions because I've I've always loved Gallows and Anderson. Like I love the heel guys and I think it's great that they're finally getting some sort of good victory push because they've always they've just been betrayed as like weak guys, you know, guys who talk a lot but can't really back it up. Since they've come to WWE, I feel like that's just my personal opinion. So I'm really happy that hopefully that can be changing and they can be taken seriously. But um also uh Charlotte maintaining her streak, her pay-per-view streak made me happy because if she would have lost to somebody, especially like Bailey, no offense, riots would have happened. You know, people out there prote protesting Donald Trump, oh no, this would have been worse. This would have been, this would have been chaos. Just kidding, because I'm not an idiotic liberal and I can handle not getting my way. As I make a rant video. <laughs> Like I said, Kevin and Roman did have an amazing match. Um, it was lengthy, it was nice. John Cena versus AJ Styles, even though I did not like the outcome, it was still an amazing match. Even if you don't like John Cena, there's one thing that I've noticed is that AJ Styles and John Cena will always put on like A plus matches. I think that they just work really well together. They can put on really fucking great matches. And I also want to give props to John Cena because he pull he's been using like pulling out a lot of new moves and he's really expanding from that five move set bullshit that we've seen for years and years and years. So props to you, John Cena. I don't hate you. You quite as much as I used to but you're still not very great so that's going to end this video I just had to make a video because I was pissed you better make up for it tonight on Monday Night Roll okay that's all I'm saying if you guys want to hear my song I actually did dedicated to the Royal Rumble it's in the description go go listen to it I'm like an artist